Hey guys, welcome to the herbal blog. Today I'm going to do a little bit of education on lion's mane mushroom and how you can make lion's mane mushroom for yourself um, or the extract. And lion's mane is an amazing fungi. Um, it's so fun to find it in the woods. I have seen it growing on oaks and birches around here. And we mostly find it in the wild in the fall. In the summer, spring, summer, it's, um, I, we haven't found it that much in the forest. And so we have been buying some cultivated lion's mane. We're friends with a guy named Matt who runs Malin Mushrooms and um, M-A-Y-L-A-N-D. And Matt cultivates mushrooms and he does, he creates grow bags for people. He sells fresh mushrooms, dried mushrooms, and he's just great. Um, because of our family's issues with gluten, we asked him if he would create gluten-free spawn for grow bags, and he did. And it's been amazing. So we have this awesome resource for lion's mane when we can't find it in the wild. So lion's mane is really well known for um, helping cognitive health, helping brain health, uh, the nervous system. Um, it's extremely medicinal for the nervous system and a lot of people use it to aid and ease digestion there's been tons of research on anxiety and depression and it's just an amazing medicinal for us just the cognitive um yeah it helps so much with uh cognitive um health so here's just a tiny little bit of the um, lion's mane. And basically what I did was um, just break it up. You know, just pull it apart and break it up. And then I threw it in the mason jar and poured 190 proof alcohol over it. And this is what it looks like sitting in 190. And I shake it every little bit. I keep it in the dark. Um, I pulled it out to make this video for you guys. So a mistake that I made when I first did lion's mane extract was um, I like to pulverize or macerate herbs um, when they're in the menstruum to help pull out all the medicinal properties. And, um, and when I ran the lion's mane through the blender, <laughs> it just, it just got too macerated and it was very difficult to separate out. So I really like just pulling this apart or running it through a food processor, but not a blender. So this will sit for weeks, uh, ideally six weeks. And then I will take a nut milk bag, like a almond milk making bag, and I will pour um, this uh, tincture into that and I will squeeze all the alcohol out and then I have the leftover mushroom. When we put um, lion's mane and reishi in alcohol, um, we also like to do a dual, something called a dual extract. So some chemical constituents come out through alcohol and some come out through water. So I take what's left of the mushroom from the nut milk bag and I make a strong decoction. And I do mine in an instant pot and I you know, keep the, the lid shut to capture all that uh, medicinal steam. And I cook it for hours. And it's so interesting how it comes out like jello. Like it is solid. It is just like, <laughs> it's like, so then I strain this again through the nut milk bag, getting uh, whatever liquid I can capture. And then I add half alcohol, half liquid. And you can see it almost looks like there's mold or something growing in here, but there's not. This is um, the alcohol, this is the water extract. And so before I bottle it up for my family, I'm basically gonna give it a good shake and make sure that both the water and the alcohol extract are together. I'll pour it into the bottle and before we take our dose, we shake again and then, you know, sometimes we use the 
tincture dropper. Sometimes we use a teaspoon. I like using the teaspoon to make sure that none of this gel-like substance clogs my dropper. And, um, and then we have this amazing, beautiful medicine that's relatively easy to make. And um, a lot of uh, grocery stores will sell Lion's Mane Mushroom now. If not, you can buy grow kits or you can go walk in the forest and try to find some. So it's relatively easy to make. You take your mushroom, you uh, you know grind up your little pieces you put it in 190 proof alcohol we use organic cane alcohol and then you let that sit you patiently wait you strain this out with a nut milk bag you do a decoction with water and then you strain that and you mix 50 50 and you have this amazing medicine thanks guys